Well, all right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is Tammy Cabell with Career Resume Consulting, and I want to welcome everyone to today's installment of my Six Figure Pro series of job search web webinars. Six Figure Job Search, actually. Um, I really want to welcome everybody on the call. Looks like we have got a full house today, nearly 100 people, so I really, really appreciate everybody who's on the webcast live and also who's on the phone. And I'm going to actually change screens here so that I can see everybody on the phone. Looks like a large majority of us today are listening in via webcast. Awesome. Okay, I'm glad you could join me. Today we're going to be talking about how to maximize your six-figure search by competing in all eight segments of the job market. And I'll explain what that means. So today we're going to go over competing in the eight segments, which are five in the published job market and three in the non-published segments of the job market. And with those non-published or hidden job market segments, I'm going to share with you nine ways to tap into those unpublished job market segments, uh, tap into some possible job openings that you're not going to find published. I'm also going to share with you some little-known excuse me, online resources to help you do this. So I want you to take notes today. I, I also want to begin this webcast by first welcoming the 28 new people that have signed up to listen to the webinar series since the last call. So I really appreciate you joining us, whether it be either live today or by listening later. And as you're taking notes, if you're not catching everything, I will be sending later on today the, uh, the link to listen to this webcast later on. You can listen to it by streaming it online. You can even download it by uh, going to the live stream and right-clicking your mouse and downloading it from there. Um, you can also hear the past webinars, all of my past webinars, by visiting YouTube and searching for my name, Tammy Cabell, and it's T-A-M-M-Y-K-A-B-E-L-L. -L. There are over 16 hours of instruction there on how to find six-figure job in weeks and not months and how to position yourself to be paid what you're worth. A lot of really, really good information, and I have received a, a ton of accolades for the information that I've got out there on YouTube. P feel free to do that. If you want to, to actually get the links to listen to instead of a video, uh, just listen to the audio, all you have to do is email me. I'd be happy to send that to you. Um, so I'd like to start, since we do have some new people on the line, I'd like to start by introducing myself. I'm the owner of an executive career firm here in Kansas City, in the Kansas City area, actually in Lee Summit, called Career Resume Consulting. And we do executive branding for job searching, and we do, uh, or I do, resume writing. And we're a full-service executive career firm, so we do career search services as well. I like to say that I help my clients land six-figure jobs in weeks and not months because it's true. A majority of my clients get land their new positions, actually start the new positions in 10 weeks or less. So I'm telling you this because this information works and I'm going to share with you some of the strategies today that they use in order to get those positions. And since many of you on the call may not be familiar with me, I've spent about nine years as an expert in the career field and about 18 years as a hiring manager in, generally speaking, operations, but in a lot of different segments of operations. I've been featured as an expert multiple times in the Wall Street Journal and MSNBC, Monster, Career Builder, The Ladders, Kansas City Star, and literally dozens of other online and paper publications. Most recently, I've been named the resident job search expert for KCMO 710 AM radio. So I hope you can tune in to listen to me. I host a Monday morning uh, job search minute. I guess I call it the Monday morning job market minute every Monday at 7.49 a.m. So be sure and listen, and it really does have a uh, – each Monday there's a new tip on what you can do to increase the success of your six-figure job search. If you miss those, you can also find those on my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and get started. One last thing, housekeeping, press star 2 at any time if you're on the phone, 
and you can raise your hand, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. Again, star two if you're on the phone. If you're listening to me on webcast, which it looks like a large majority of you are, then you can type in your questions in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Anytime you'd like, type in questions. I'll be checking that periodically throughout the hour. If you do have a question that comes up before the end of the hour, feel free to type it in, and I will get to it as, as we're going through this information. So I want it to be interactive. I would love for this to be a workshop environment for you, so if you have questions, please feel free to type those in or press star 2, because I've got my console in front of me. I can see everything that's going on. If you haven't done so already, one last thing, go to my website to view, download, and print off the supplemental document for today's webinar. Um, you should have received that in an email if you're on my email list for notifications of these webinars. If you're not, um, the, the site page to go to is careerresumeconsulting.com forward slash teleclass-goodies.php, and that's uh, forward slash T E L E C L A S S dash goodies, G O O D I E S dot PHP. That's going to take you to a PDF that you can view and that you can download. Recommend you take a look at that. It will give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about today. Um, you'll find the link on that in the reminder message that I sent earlier today. Like I said before, get ready to take notes so that you'll be able to listen to it. Um, later, but you'll absorb it better if you're listening live and you're taking notes as you go. Again, think of questions you want to ask me. Here's your chance to get some free coaching. So let's get started on the eight segments. Why am I covering this topic today? When you start looking for a job, a six-figure position, or even any other professional position, you really aren't given an instruction manual showing you the quickest way to look for a job. And you do what you're guessing you should do, right? You, you look online, you look at the websites of the companies you've heard of, you contact friends, and you might call a few recruiters, and you might feel like recruiters are looking out for me, I've, I've got a couple of recruiters I'm talking with, and they're, they're searching for something for me. Trust me, recruiters don't get paid by you, so they're not searching for you. They're trying to fill contract positions that they have with companies. Keep that in mind. Um, and when I talk with either prospective clients or any job seeker that wants some advice from me, uh, wants to talk with me about my services, before I talk with them, I have them fill out a survey. Now, this is a survey that lets me get to know you prior to, um, to us talking so that I don't have to ask you a lot of the same questions that I ask everyone about their career. The reason I'm going into this is because I've got some interesting statistics that I want to share with you. Because nearly every job seeker in the survey says that they look at openings on online job boards. That, you know, what, when I ask, what has been your search activity so far? 85%, now this is out of, uh, since I started doing this survey, we've got about 260 people that have answered these questions. But 85% look online at the job boards. And 78% are networking with friends and associates, and about half, a little less than half, are contacting recruiters. Some of the other things that I list, such as going to job clubs, uh, direct mail to employers, which is one of the, the most important things, very, very effective. There's only 15% of of people that responded yes to that. And when I talk to people, they do very little of it. They may have only sent one or two resumes out to companies that they would want to work for. But there are other things, too, uh, uh, contacting venture capital companies, um, contacting alumni, things like that. So uh, we're going to go through some of those other things that most people don't do that I think should be a part of a complete balanced breakfast, a, a complete search in order to find something very quickly. So enable to fully maximize your ability to capture all of the open positions out there. It really does help to know where they're all hiding. So let's discuss all eight segments. Let me give you some more stats to begin with. About 50% for, these are for um, the, the known uh, jobs out there, the unhidden published job market. 
50% are open positions or published, 50% are unpublished for positions less than 100,000. If you're looking at positions that pay over $100,000 or more, really 85% of those are not published. Keep that in mind. You probably already know that if you're looking for a six-figure job. It's really hard to find any that are actually listed out there, and there are reasons for that. I'll get into those. About 4 to 7% of the jobs all out there in the United States are on the major job boards. Four, I usually quote 4 to 5%. I've seen it quoted as up to 7%. That's not very much. That's not very much. And if you're spending 92 to 95 percent of your time, like I, I've seen quoted several different times um, on some of the, the career magazines that I read, the online magazines, 92 to 95 percent of all job seekers use the job boards as their main source of looking for a job. So if you think about that visually, you've got a very small pool stocked with a few fish, 4 to 6 percent of all the jobs out there in a small uh, pond. And you've got 18, 19 million fishermen putting their resume into that pond trying to get those. So what do you think the result's going to be? The system's kind of broken. You really can't expect to find something very easily if all you're doing is looking at the job boards. So think to yourself, do you spend more time on the job boards than in any other job search activity? Because I tell my clients, all right, 5% of the jobs are out there, so I would love for you to spend 5% of your week looking at the job boards. But honestly, most of my clients never even touch them. The job market has changed more in the last five years than in the previous 50 years. Actually, last four years. When you think about uh, really when the job market tanked in 2008, and all of a sudden we got 9 and then 10% unemployment, the job boards made sense when there's 4 or 5% unemployment, but when you double that, the process is so broken that it doesn't work anymore. So with today's competition, you really need to plan on generating a lot of interest in your talents. You need to promote yourself in as many segments as possible. Let's break down these eight segments one segment at a time. So let's talk about the five published. Number one, employer websites. 63 million companies in the U.S., most are very small, and a majority of them don't have websites. Uh, does anybody know how many companies are in Kansas City? There's about 69,000 companies in Kansas City. Most people don't know that. And when they send their resume, they're sending it to companies that they've heard of. And that means everybody is sending their resume to companies that you've heard of, like Garmin and Cerner, that you would love to work at. And that means that they're getting thousands of resumes. Although, what I found, at least in Kansas City, and I know that we've got people nationwide listening in today, in Kansas City, the sweet spot for companies that are doing well, chugging along and, and doing all right and actually growing, are between 10 and 25 million in annual revenue and really less than 200 people, about 50 to 200 people in the number of people in the company. There are a lot of companies that are doing well, and nobody has heard of them. So we'll talk about how to get to those companies a little later. But employer websites, uh, there's about 160,000 companies nationwide that have websites that actually post positions. And if you look on the supplemental information, I do list a website that lists for Kansas City companies what businesses have uh, jobs posted on their website. And there's a little over, last time I checked, it was about 150 different companies. It may have increased since I looked at it last. But that website is www.motrav, which is M-O-T, like Tom, R-A-V, like Victor, dot com, forward slash business. So motrav.com forward slash business. That will give you a list of companies that um, will uh, list their publicly posted positions. So if you are looking in that sector, then uh, in the public sector, then go ahead and use that. Uh, 
many of the companies, though, that I talked about, the, the 69,000 companies in Kansas City, the 63 million companies in the United States, most of them don't post on the, the major job boards. Um, they don't even post on their own website. So if you want to find companies that, that may have some information out there on the web somewhere publicly, then what I recommend is setting up a Google Alert. And I, if you don't know what a Google Alert is, you should make it your best friend. So let me explain very quickly how to set up a Google Alert and what it is. A Google Alert is a great tool that is free through Google that you set up a search term, any keyword or key phrase that you want in Google Alert, and it will send you a link to whatever it is out on the, the internet that is new information that has to do with your keyword or your key phrase. And it, it might be easier if, to be understood if I give you an example. If I'm looking for a director of marketing position, then I would put in a Google alert. You can have as many as you want free. I would put in a Google alert that's looking for the key term of marketing director or director of marketing. And I would probably set up two different Google Alerts, one for each of those phrases, and I would have it sent to a specific email address. You don't even have to have a Google account in order to do this. You just set it up, and any time something new on the Internet comes up, we'll send it to you. Now, keep in mind, you have to, you have to put... Kansas City or whatever metro area you're looking for in that Google alert. Otherwise, it's going to give you marketing director positions that might come up, whether it be in conversation or a blog post anywhere, it might come up in somewhere else. So put it, um, use, use just marketing director Kansas City. Or if you have a specific industry that you're trying to get into and you're wanting to know industry trends or any kind of news that's coming out about an industry, then use Google Alerts to put in agriculture industry. You can even say agriculture industry trends. And whatever it is that you put, it, Google is searching for those terms with new content that comes on the web for you. And you'll, you'll be able to get... Uh, white papers and any kind of industry trends or industry information for that new industry you're looking for. So the first one is employer websites. Number two, newspapers. There's still about 3,000 newspapers that list jobs. And they are cheaper than the job boards many times. And so you can still find listings online for free. And for instance, with the Kansas City Star, you would be looking at kansascity.com. Now, I'm also including Craigslist in this group for newspapers because it's kind of like a, a newspaper. With Craigslist, and I know that that's becoming very popular to post your resume out on Craigslist and to do some, some searching with that every day, you do have to beware of scams with Craigslist. There are a lot of them out there. So there are jobs that look legitimate, but they're not. So you really have to do your due diligence before even meeting somebody in person from a Craigslist uh, posting. All right. Number three, trade magazines. There's about 2,000 of them out there, actually. You may not have thought about looking at trade magazines. If, if you're wanting to change industries, a trade magazine online, you can oftentimes they'll have information for free, but you may, if you have a target industry, you may want to subscribe to a trade magazine because they're a good place to look at industry associations. They're a good place to look at uh, uh, growing companies, identifying trends. Uh, again, articles that talk about either target companies or what's going on in that industry. It will also allow you to understand the new industry jargon so that when you go into this new industry in a hiring process, you can speak intelligently using the type of words that the industry uses. Makes, especially if you're moving into a different industry, it makes the hiring manager feel much more comfortable if they know that you understand the industry jargon. Um, I mentioned industry associations. You can Google industry associations. 
by just putting in the association name and then the word association and then either um, Kansas City or statewide like Missouri or Kansas or national so that you can get in touch with the industry association directors. So if there's a Kansas City Engineering Association, you can get in touch with that. Um, that's kind of a term, but I'm sorry, it's a, a function, but you could do like construction industry. So talk to the Missouri um, Home Builders Association and the person who runs that. Um, number four, again, is job boards. So um, four or five percent, some say up to seven percent. Um, so let's talk about job boards and what you can do to use those most effectively. There is what's known in marketing as push marketing and pull marketing. Push marketing is when you are in a, in a job search. <clears throat> it's when you are going after a company by proactively contacting them. Here's my resume. Here's an introductory letter. Here I am. I want you to know who I am. Poll marketing is when you have a wonderful, robust online profile, which includes a great profile on all of the major job boards. And then recruiters and employers come to you. The way that they do that is a lot of recruiters, a lot of employers, will a good number of them will actually pay for, usually it's, um, 500, I think last time I saw it was it was like $465 a month to gain access to contact information for people who have their resume posted out there, let's say on CareerBuilder. So um, an example of this would be one of my clients, John, current client, who we, one of the things that my company does is put out the profiles, really nice profiles on all of the job boards, as well as LinkedIn and uh, a, a separate online resume, but a recruiter found John through his profile on CareerBuilder. He didn't have to do anything. He didn't have to apply for anything. A recruiter came to him and very quickly got him into a hiring process with a bank up in Iowa. And actually, they're now. I'm helping him now negotiate through that. I think that's probably going to be a done deal by the end of the week. So it happened very, very quickly. I think with John, he was contacted within two weeks of starting his search. And it's a, a pretty high-level position. In fact, um, he's going to be, if the negotiations you know, are successful and he starts the job soon, he's moving up there and he's going to be the heir apparent to the bank president who's retiring soon. Pretty cool. Um, and there's another thing that you can do out there in addition to a great job board uh, profile, is um, there's a, a company out there called skillsniper.com, and that's S-K-I-L-L-S-N-I-P-E-R.com. And Skillsniper allows you to put your skills, hard skills, soft skills. Now, what they call hard skills, I call experience factors. So you have 11 years of experience in XYZ industry with management experience um, leading up to you know, 40 to 50 people. And um, it, it asks you a long list of questions. It really does take about two or three hours, sometimes more, to fill out that Skill Sniper account. However, it's much cheaper for an employer. Now, this is a nationwide company, but it's actually based um, it, it was started by a friend of mine, Gary Hicks, in Olathe, and he put this together. It's a great, great business model. You put in your skills as a, a job seeker, and then the employers go through and look for em employees, possible employees, that would fill the positions that they're wanting based upon the skills that they're looking for, and they only have to pay 10 to $30 um, depending on how big of a bulk of, of names they want, they only have to pay 10 to $30 for the contact information of the people they want to talk to. It's pretty cool. So because it's cheap for an employer, it's becoming very popular for an employer. In fact, when they started, they received 10,000 unique visitors their very first month. 
pretty impressive. And it's free to the job seeker. So go out to Skill Sniper, put in a plug in there for them because it, it really is a great business model and that's why I really like it because it's free for you and employers can go out there relatively cheaply and find the, the people with the skills that they want. Okay, number five are recruiters that post their jobs on the web. There's about 3,500 of them nationwide. And recruiters, in general, hold about 11% of all of the jobs out there. And that percentage varies by job function. Um, there's a much larger percentage of engineering, IT, accounting, and some executive positions that are held by recruiters. Um, but overall, it's about 11%. It could be up to 30% for, for uh, like IT and accounting. Um, and so use recruiters. Let me give you some websites that have lists of recruiters. Um, so I'll, I'll send those, or I'll, um, I'll say those to you real quick. There is i-recruit.com, and that's R-E-C-R-U-I-T.com. There's Headhunters Directory, all one word, .com. And there's the Recruiter Network. Business.com is a good place to look. And then there are two firms that, that are, are pretty good, uh, Aerotech, A-E-R-O-T-E-K.com, and ReactionSearch.com. Um, that's for executive search. But a majority of those, the ones that I listed um, at the top of that list, those are actually lists of recruiters and recruiting companies. So you can put in whatever, it's really nationwide, and you can put in what metro area or state you're looking in and what function you're looking for, like uh, engineering or accounting, and uh, then it will give you a list of appropriate recruiters. Pretty cool, all right? In fact, um, with, with my clients, we supply them with a, a list of about, I think, 40 or 45 different recruiters here in the Kansas City area if they're in KC, and, along with um, the right person's name to send it to. Uh, it's, it's a really good idea, I think, to get it to one person and not just send it to the, um, uh, just the company on Mac.